Okay, I have some news. I just talked with them. Um, with the, I believe she's the supervisor of the store, I think. And um, right when I was ending my video, she came over and said hello. But what she mentioned was that the Tabby 26, I'm, some of you probably have heard about it already. I mean, her, her, have heard the news, but the Tabby 26 is about to join the MTO program. Just like the Rogues, how we can kind of choose our own color in leather, choose the leather, we can choose the interior. Uh, whether we want suede or, or smooth leather, um, the hardware, that's what Tabby is about, the, this particular size, just the 26 so far, but we're going to be able to, uh, and it's launching tomorrow, I'm excited, I'm talking all over myself, but yeah, we're going to be able to, uh, I believe, choose a body color, which is a flap plus all of the sides and all that, I think we can choose a different front pocket color and then lining is I believe linen and suede guys one of the reasons why I've stayed away from the tabby is because of the interior this was one of the biggest bags that started using the microfiber and um, I mean, that was produced with microfiber and I can't stand microfiber so I just stayed away from the tabby but I mean oh and exterior leather I'm so sorry guys we're gonna be able to um, choose glove tan pebble leather or glove tan smooth leather so basically, Tabby is about to become real luxurious, and I'm about to, I, I think I'm going to finally get myself a Tabby 26. I think I'm going to, because it's just a great, it's a great classic style, which is why it's so big and why it's been, why it's been around for so long. It's a great style, very easy to use. I've just, I've stayed away from it because it's just not, it hasn't been my style. I actually think it's pretty, it's, it's a little longer than what I typically go for. If it were like a little shorter probably would have snatched this up a long time ago and had a few because it's a flat bag and it has a top handle or shoulder not a top handle but a shoulder shoulder strap and a crossbody strap or a long shoulder strap and it, the straps those two straps are still going to be included of course but we're oh we're going to be able to choose the c-lock also if i'm not mistaken while we're we're creating the bag so this is about to become a very luxurious bag if you so choose and if I'm not mistaken I don't know about the price but if I'm not mistaken she she showed me a whole lot of um like the write-up of uh, the, the different options and the um, <clears throat> leather options color options all of that stuff and I believe it said it's going to be don't quote me because I could be wrong and I'm not sure if she knew per completely or I mean we were searching for prices but um if I'm not mistaken, it said, well, it has a little chain, $75 more than what it already is to create one. That can't be possible because this is what, refined, refined pebble leather, and we're about to upgrade to glove tan pebble leather or glove tan leather in general. I don't know if that's going to, in a suede interior, I don't know if that's going to be only 50, 75 bucks more, but we're going to see. But I think it's about time for me to grab a Tabby 26. So yeah, that's what I wanted to mention also she brought to my attention the fact that this design is a little newer the tabby didn't used to have this right here this little gusseted area this extra gusseted area look at that they're putting 19 you know what I see what they're doing they're putting 1941 on everything this is a New York bag <laughs> this is a New York Bag. So they added this and that confused me you saw in the beginning of the video that confused me I thought it was saying genuine glove tan pebble leather, but I see now that it's just genuine pebble leather Which who knows what that is, but there's another gusseted area here And I didn't even notice that until she mentioned it So I mean the design is a little bit different and I really do like I really do like the. I do like the, the uh, tabby 26. I've never loved it, but I mean it's okay. But it's going to be added to the, again, made to order program and um, just the 26, not the pillow if I'm not mistaken, only the regular 26, like the white one over there or flax or yellow or whatever that color is. Just that one. So yeah, get prepared, be prepared. Awesome, awesome. Sorry that, again that this video is so long. Maybe this will be a separate video, who knows. Anyway, take care again, goodbye. I'm at Dillard's now looking at one of the older Tabby 26s. Yeah, there's a big difference. <laughs> I haven't paid attention to the Tabby because it's, it just wasn't me. It wasn't my style. But I can totally see the others are over there, the new ones. I can see a complete difference. 
major, major difference here. Absolutely. The other one's heavier too, of course. Yeah, but anyway, wow, okay. This is the older version of the tabby. And again, it does not have, it doesn't have the writing here that says the tabby bag right here on the front. It also doesn't have that gusset area right here. Wow, oh, look at the little old version. It's still very nice, of course, but I definitely prefer the newer version. Is the sea lock smaller, the same? I can't tell. Anyway, so keep this in mind. Here's the side. There we go. And this. One thing about the tabby that I am, actually the leather feels different too. I wonder what kind of leather that is. If this is genuine pebble leather, I wonder what the old stuff was. <laughs> I'm yeah. yeah, again, here's the new one. Tabby bag. The interior is definitely different. And this one does feel a little heavier. Of course, the strap is in there though. Ugh. But one of the things, one of the reasons why I stayed away from the tabby was because with flat bags, depending on what the style is, if there's not enough substance underneath the flap, they can start doing this. The Parker bag did it. What other style? They have like more of a triangular shape when you look at them, when you look at the profile. It, I hate that. That's one reason why I never grabbed the tabby before. And then I got rid of my Parker that I did have, or a couple of Parkers, because I cannot stand that look. But because of this gusseted area here, there's more substance down here. I mean, there's more. There's just more down there, so this is going to be more rounded for a lot longer. If that makes sense, that's a pet peeve of mine. Might not be pet peeve of anybody else's. But yeah, this actually, I would need it in a softer leather because that, that feels like a lot of bag right there, kind of bulky. This is definitely, wow. Okay, I do like the tabby a lot better. This one is really pretty too. Pretty color, what color is this? Light violet. Let's see the interior. I don't know, y'all. I think I like, I might like this a little better than the regular microfiber. I don't know what it is though. What am I, what's the word? Not burlap, what's the word I'm thinking of? This reminds me of it, I can't recall. Oh, good, there's a good picture of it. There's a good, take a picture. Anyway, I don't know what it is. I can't stand it, and I do not want to have a tabby until I can put a leather interior inside. But Coach is, Coach is doing things with this style, seriously. Tabby, tabby, good job, Coach. Anyway, so, new tabby, old tabby. There's a lot more going on down there now. It's on the profile of it. But here, what I meant was that when there's nothing in the bag, the tabby could kind of look would be bent up here on the flap and I didn't like that so I just stayed away from the uh from the style but this is still an excellent bag but I can see why it looks different it looks different even from the front I don't know what it is what's the difference did they widen the tongue did they shorten it I don't know what they did the flap looks different anyway tabby and Tabby 2.0 and Tabby 2.0 is going to be the design or the style that um, will be added to the made to order program. Yay! And your girl is going to get one, most likely. Most likely, even though they already have some beautiful, beautiful um, colors out. And when I do create one, I'll be doing a metal clasp metal C because I don't trust this uh, I don't trust the leather it might not mess up at all but I don't I've, ever since these leather C's have come out or leather on any kind of clasp I don't trust them I think they'll get really badly scratched I've seen them badly scratched but uh, I didn't know if it had been abused or what anyway this one why is it so pretty why is it so pretty it's lighter in person it's a lot lighter in person anyway take care of yourselves I hope you enjoyed this bye